What's up guys? Welcome back to the Ali Fushu podcast. Tonight we are at episode 10 and tonight's episode is going to be about body positivity. And I know it's kind of weird that it's coming from me, some coming from a guy with a poorly cut mohawk to talk about uh, body positivity. But I think it's something that definitely has to be talked about. And I guess if you've been following through like the you know the earlier episodes of this podcast, it's really all about talking about these kind of discussions surrounding fitness that definitely don't have a black and white answer. It's revolving around a lot of gray areas and definitely body positivity falls under that category where there's a lot of things that can be talked about. I mean, that's the point of this podcast to invite discussion. Everything that I do say is, I guess, how I'm currently interpreting things. If there's something that I've, I'm about to say that's definitely off or really right, etc. Whatever I say, I am really opening it up to full-on discussion. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, definitely you can, mess- you can comment down below or you can message me personally through my social media links. All right. But anyway, let's uh, let's head to it. And we're, again, we're talking about body positivity. And the reason why I've decided to talk about that tonight is because within the past week, yeah, within the past few weeks, there has definitely been some controversy surrounding this one Instagram post by Gymshark. And if you guys aren't familiar with what Gymshark is, it's probably one of the top uh, and the, the world's top, the top world world's top fitness apparel brand, both for men and for women. So, um, before I talk about the post, um, something about Gymshark is that for the past, I guess six or seven years i don't know i don't know exactly when they were founded but ever since then um five or five plus years ago people know gymshark as the brand that you know has a lot of ambassador brand ambassadors fitness models that look extremely jacked or extremely lean Uh, this is for the men uh then for the women who are also lean and you know probably have a tiny waist and big hips i mean to be honest, that's really how they've marketed themselves. That's those are the type of models that they have been using for their marketing for, for for their advertising. And I guess with that image, with the models that they've been using, that's the market that they've been aiming for. We're in people who want to look like that. And yeah, like for the past few years, and I guess especially now in 2020, that might have changed. Because, of course, body positivity, inclusivity, representation has been trending. Uh, and to be very honest, it, ha- it is a trending thing uh, because people are more, I guess, to use a millennial term, more woke about that topic. So again, body positivity, inclu- uh, inclusivity, and represent- representation is a big thing. And that's why Gymshark, they knew about this, like how important that is to a lot of uh, people who go to the gym especially women i guess it's safe for me to say that that this like this topic is very very sensitive especially for women and which is why this post was actually made okay let's let's actually talk about the post now and here and hopefully you guys are watching this uh, through youtube so that you can see the overlays but anyway the post reads because we are all both soft whilst also being incredibly strong one side is not weaker less valid or less worthy Both exist together perfectly. Beautiful words, beautiful body, beautiful soul at Nelly London. Okay, so I'm going to be the first one to say, actually there are two things that I'm going to be the first one to say, is that one, I agree with this post, or like I am in favor of this post, I like it. But two, in the back of my head, I can't help but, what do you call this? like have that thought in the back of my head that this is definitely a a really good marketing move especially as i mentioned a while ago because it's 2020 in the past how many years that gymshark has been alive or been you know operating they've always been promoting towards the jack individuals or people who want to look jack people who want to be really lean etc and that's not everyone in the gym a lot of i mean sure we all it's not it's not gonna hurt to have that goal like that far off ambitious goal that we want to look we for guys to have big arms big shoulders big chest etc then for girls uh what do you call this traditionally speaking a lot of them want a lot of girls love to have tiny waist big uh big butt uh i mean that's that's the image that they've been really promoting that that, that's the image that you've been they've been really ingraining in everyone's heads but now because it's 2020 they're making posts like this that body positivity and i know I, that's a negative thing that this is definitely for money but 
despite that negative thing i am still in favor of this of these type of posts because it definitely helps a lot of people feel better about themselves because body dysmorphia i think that's the term or like when you when people despise or loathe or hate their bodies to the point that they don't even want to try uh to like improve themselves to progress progressively get better then you know that's that's a very very sensitive topic and i and the reason why again just to go back to what i was trying to say is that the reason why i am in favor of these type of posts is because it motivates people or if it, it encourages people to go to the gym or to live a more active lifestyle okay again not everyone does have those aspirations ambitions to look like a top bikini model or top bodybuilder but you know it's just it's just nice i guess that's the big positive uh that these type of posts have it make and if you're gonna see that this post has five over five hundred thousand likes and a lot of people are super duper positive or like super uh they feel uplifted by these type of posts and because of that um because i'm a big fan of making everyone be uh I'm what am I a big fan of? I'm a big fan of everyone feeling welcomed in the environment of the gym because of course for the past how many years decades a lot of people think that the gym are for the people who want to be like that as I mentioned I mean I'm, I know I'm going to be a bit redundant throughout the rest of the show but a lot of people think that the gym is only or is exclusively for that type of people you might not have thought that but trust me when i say that a lot of people think that the gym is solely for those type of people but we're in but that's not the case the gym is for people to get better no matter who you are no matter where you are no matter how much body fat or how much lean body mass you have on your body currently you are definitely welcome to go to the gym and again, as I mentioned, you might you might not have ever had that thought come across your mind, but a lot of people have definitely become have uh, discouraged themselves just because of that thought. And these type of posts, sorry, <laughs> these type of posts help them uh, help encourage themselves to go to the gym, to live a more active lifestyle, and and of course in the end to live a healthier life potentially a healthier and longer life all right so that's why i'm in huge favor of this post but again i know at the back of my head i can't help but this is definitely a marketing thing because they they're because more people who have never liked gymshark because they've only been promoting the top guys top girls are now like oh cool they're promoting normal bodies again and normal is definitely not bad but people are saying oh gymshark has uh, photos of a normal looking one She's not extremely lean. She's not, uh, of course, extremely obese. She's average. She's normal. I feel included. I feel like if I wear these products, I can go to the gym. That's that's the hypocritical thing that's in my head right now. Again, gray area. As I mentioned earlier on in this episode, this there's a lot of gray area because it's positive that it helps a lot of people feel better. But then you know that they're also profiting from this. Uh, I, I'm not sure if we're going to call that a win-win, but it's something that's uh, definitely in the back of my head. But another reason why I wanted to talk about this episode is because this post definitely got a lot of traction. If you were to look at it right now, there's a lot of positive ones, uh, which is great. But if you were to really dig deep in the comments section, there are a lot of negative ones. And I'll really like, I'll, I'll put them up uh, for you guys, especially the ones who are watching on youtube and there are so many negative ones and it's really like it, it just freaking sucks dude it's super stupid all right I'll, I'll read one already right now this one his name is 41 de he says bro i'm disappointed in this account unfollow like what the hell dude i mean i understand that he probably has that you know that image of, oh gymshark is solely for the what do you call this for the elite looking people super jacked super lean and then he's disappointed that Gymshark showing a normal person. That that's not that, that's such an unhealthy mindset or such a I guess to use another woke term, that's such a toxic mindset to have. And I understand that you know Gymshark has is definitely evolving. Uh, as I mentioned a while ago, uh, they were promoting the elite only before. No one can deny that, but of course they're now evolving their brand, their vision, mission, whatever, because they want to include everyone up because it's you know more profit for them but anyway i for these type of people for 41 de to say that he's disappointed and he's gonna unfollow that's that's just weak reasoning and a similar one is from this one jack Cosomali. 
I think uh, his name this is a joke right and then from the B grant then shouldn't have bought the last drop regretting it after this yo I mean that's fucked up dude that, that's I really find that's I mean I'm props to the Gymshark account uh, like the social media person hold, uh, handling the Instagram account but he's he or she is replying pretty well I'm going to say but as you will see in future like in other comments that I'll be showing they're Gymshark they're even though their comments right now are are funny, are cool, are witty, there are some ones that I definitely have to critique later. Then other negative ones, oh, which one is that? Wait, long. I thought you were promoting health and fitness. So what? Could the people on the My 500 Pound Live stay the same? After all, it's who they are, right? Didn't expect this from you, Jim Shark. Kind of uh, disappointing, to be honest. All right, so this guy, IFBB Carter Lopez, he's stupid ass <laughs> i guess that's what I, i'll start by calling him a stupid ass because first of all ifbb i think that that's ibb uh it's it's a prefix that a lot of international bodybuilders like top bodybuilders have in the prefix of their instagram handle because they've earned it they've earned that right they've earned that title uh to put it on their names but this guy he's not uh, again i'm not saying that i have the best physique in the world but i'm saying that this guy is not in the level of the other ifbb pros the international federation of bodybuilding pros he says that i thought you were promoting health and fitness then jim shark replies health and fitness comes in many shapes and sizes and we promote them all okay so i'm gonna look at what jim shark said first health and fitness does come in many shapes and sizes um and we promote them all okay so um i understand that that's a good that's a good comment sure i mean it's promoting body positivity sure but i don't want people to misinterpret it as you know any size you are you can be happy and stay that way because again there's a lot of ways to interpret what body positivity means there can be the way like you i i think the the, the negative interpretation is that you will love your body no matter how it is no matter how unhealthy it can be no matter i guess that i'll just use that only that term no matter how unhealthy you are you're gonna love your body i don't think that's a good way to interpret what body positivity is because i think the general catch all interpretation of body positivity is that you love your body so much is that you're going to make the efforts to make it progress as need be or to make it to improve it as need be because you can be if, if you're extremely overweight if you're def if there's a lot of health issues due to that uh extreme you, you due to you being extremely overweight or if you, you due to you being obese then if you do love yourself i'm going to say that maybe you should make that effort to lean out to get to lose that excess the excessive body fat i'm not saying that you should be a bodybuilder i'm just saying that you should definitely aim for normal health levels health, normal health parameters and that's a good word to go about it is that there, there's a, a parameter there's a range in regards to what can be considered quote unquote healthy or unhealthy for in regards to this woman nelly london yes she does have you know a good amount of fat surrounding her stomach her waist but then it's hard for me to it's hard for me to say that oh just because she's not she doesn't have a six pack she's extremely unhealthy you know that's a that's a stupid way of thinking in regards to body positivity like she's she can definitely love herself and she doesn't look bad she looks good i mean she looks good right i mean she's, she's not a bikini model she's not gonna compete in bikini competitions but i don't think anyone can say that she looks horrible i mean right I, I don't think anyone can disagree with me that with that so this guy ifbb carter ifbb Car ifbb carter lopez uh, when he compares it the same situation to the my my 500 pound life and i think that's you know about talking about people who are definitely within the 400 or 500 pound uh weight range i don't that, that's so that's a far off comparison because they're definitely in a in an unhealthier uh, spot compared to Nelly London she's not she's obviously not 500 pounds and I'm going to say that because of that discrepancy she's in a healthier spot and those people who in the 500 pound life if they want if they want to again this is my interpretation but if they want to truly love themselves and if they want to live a more proactive or active 
more diverse life then they should make the efforts to get lighter to lessen their body fat because no one can deny if you're a 500 pound person there's only so much you can do for so long example walking around uh what do you call i mean going around the mall going around the park go, like doing anything that inv- that involves around uh, that involves you moving i guess because a lot of these 500 pe- pound people they're the type who stay at home and i again it's hard for me to speak for them but i this again the, the reason why i'm i'm hesitating with my words is because it's really a tough topic dude it really is but again you know just to move on lang with throughout this episode i think people who are in the 500 pound life range if you really if they really loved their lives then they should really make the effort to get lighter all right um so yeah in regards to gym shark gym shark's reply my concern is that i hope that those people in the 400 500 pound don't interpret it in a way that oh i can love my body and then i'll stay the same way but again if you're unhealthy that's something that's that's something we talked about okay what's another negative one um it's sad so from from ir mometro.11 it's sad to see that the health company is promoting un healthy habits so dude what the i mean you're basing you're making that comment based on what do you call this these two photos of her just because she doesn't have a six-pack just because her waist isn't you know necessarily tiny that doesn't mean that she has an unhealthy habits you don't know this person i mean i'm going to say that i don't know the habits or the lifestyle of nelly london but it's hard for anyone to immediately claim that just because she looks that way just because she doesn't have a six-pack that she has that she that this company is promoting the unhealthy habits that Nelly London does. It's hard to make that judgment, dude. That's really that's really for this guy Mometro to make that call, to make that comment. It's really weird. And yeah, and then so what Jim Shark says, uh, it's sad to see that you can't recognize that healthy looks different on everyone. Yes, that's true. Healthy does look different on everyone, but as I mentioned a while ago, if it reaches extreme ranges of extreme obesity or even like being extremely skinny no, that's not healthy i mean again there is a range there is there is a parameter to aim to be within and something that i know there's this other comment that i uh, hear this axel roque he says oh roque if you're in the philippines that name that last name though he says uh this ain't it then jim shark replies don't like it feel free to unfollow okay that's a good uh, that's a good one this guy breathe different he says confidence won't unclog your arteries again how does this guy know that nelly london has very clogged arteries blood vessels etc i mean these these comments they don't even know this person and then they're making these kind of comments and jim shark made a you know that's a good reply because obviously breed, breed different said you are arteries instead of your arteries they commented on that but something that i want that's gonna infu- that's in, that's going to infuriate everyone that are hating on these people already so breathe different 1567 people like that comment and this is when i took a screenshot of this so i'm not sure if that's already increased and then for the one from axel roque 1500 people like that comment and then from mometro 1100 likes that comment dude it's so it's just sad that these people who made these negative comments are being supported they're being backed up by thousands of people who share the same mindset and that's just really sad dude i really really hate it but okay uh, in, uh, in regards to talking about uh, other comments this is one that really caught my eye and this is to go back I, again we were talking about the negative comments the stupid comments that some people would make but this guy made a really good point and i want you guys and i'm just going to talk about it I, i'm not going to it's hard for me to like make certain claims surrounding it but anyway you know what I always delay it. Let me, talk, uh, let me read it. From Bid, sorry, Big Red Riang. I have always wondered if you are truly comfortable in your skin as you should be, then why wear clothing that hides your true self? Sure, it's a style, a fashion, a fad. It will pass just like every trend of clothing does and has, and has over the many decades. Is it a social misconception to hide in clothing? So that's a really, really good question because if we are going, again, it's it, it goes back to you know like ma- it makes you realize that gymshark is definitely a brand it is a company that wants to make profit if they're all about 
being you know unlocking your potential and that's why i i before this episode i did research on their about us their mission vision it's always about unlocking your true potential uh progressing like being better etc that's that's their vibe now instead of being super duper elite or aiming to be the best which is how they were the past few years it's because it is hypocritical that they're promoting a brand that makes them look skinnier uh, especially again to go back to the picture of nelly london it's showing that the the left and right photo that if she wears the leggings she looks quote unquote better when it's worn properly when it's all the way up because it hides her fat but then they're all again it's weird because they're a brand that's promoting that you look good no matter what but then their clothes make them look traditionally better and when i say traditionally better it's to go for the image that they've been promoting and other fitness apparel brands have been promoting that you're tiny waist big ass for guys big arms big chest etc it's just again it's hypocritical um and then they reply that what if it's not clothing that hides your true self but enhances your true self so again you can see how they're answering it it's that they're also in they're they're making sure that they're still uplifting the brand and you can see that a lot of 200 plus people liked it because it's showing that you know yes um it's it's not hiding yourself like yes you are hiding your fat but then you're saying that as you hide your fat, you're enhancing your true self. It's just weird. It's very, very hypocritical. So as I'm, as I'm, what do you call this, making this episode, I mentioned that I'm a big fan of this post or these type of posts. Absolutely. But I'm not saying that Gymshark is the best, like is the best in regards to promoting these kind of, uh, what do you call this? images or this this pressure that this societal pressure that it's uh it's giving to its people because i mean yes they made this one post of this girl or like they made i guess two or three posts about women hiding their fats through their through the leggings but then in between those posts they did go back to posting about super duper jack guys and super duper lean girls with big hips tiny waists so again, it's hypocritical. It's really for their money, but then uh, that's still. I know it's kind of weird that I'm the the flow of this podcast is. I know it's all over the place, but it's it's a conversation. It's a discussion that I do want to have with a lot of people, and oh uh, yeah, but, you know what? Like, there are some other comments that I wa- that I do want to talk about as well. And this one by Colleen Blaz, uh, she in, in her reply to IFBB Carter Lopez a while ago, she says that fitness is a journey. Our bodies are always changing. And as as a hit on him, hopefully your personality and awful views will do, and that's a good that's a good out uh, mindset. We're in fitness is a continuous journey. It's and that's really how it is because you keep on going to the gym because you want to progressively get better. You want to progressively improve. Um, I guess there is the saying that you know proud but never satisfied. You're always chasing, always chasing. A lot of people. And, and a lot of people like that mindset and I do too because even if you attain a certain goal you look a certain way you lose 10 pounds there's always another goal afterwards that you always there's always another way you can improve and a mindset that I want people to have within that mindset is that yes you are wanting to improve and there's always another goal to go forward but that doesn't mean that you're not happy with where you are already. Yes, you want to be somewhere else, or yes, you want your body to progress to a certain performance or aesthetic look or like uh, aspect. But I don't want people to be unhappy until they reach that goal. Example: If you're 150 pounds now and your goal is throughout time, throughout a few the years, to be 130 pounds, I don't want you to be. I don't want you to think to yourself that I can only be happy if I've reached 130 pounds. That's another mindset that I know a lot of people have, but then I that's something that's I don't think that's healthy. You should be happy with wherever you are. Yes, you are aiming for something, but don't let that say that don't let that dictate that you can or cannot be happy until you've reached this goal. Be happy with wherever you are because you're making the effort already. Sure, I mean, you're not you haven't achieved your goal quite yet. But then the fact that you're working towards that goal, that says a lot. That says a lot already about your personality, that you're a hard worker, that you're somebody that does have a goal. So be happy about that. And I know it's kind of wrong. Again, again, it's super hard for me to talk about this, but I know it's kind of wrong for me to say, hey, be happy no matter where you are, because again, people are different no matter who you are. I mean, there, again, it's hard for me to say that, but that's what I'm going to suggest. 
that yes have a goal but don't not be happy if you haven't achieved that goal already all right so uh that's something that i really really want to talk about in regards to these body body positivity topics as well but okay uh there's something that i did as well before i uh recorded this episode is that i asked on instagram a lot of people on what they think about this and i guess i won't mention their names as well and I guess I kind of went through it already. I just didn't uh, mention their specific comments. So the first person that replied, he said that at the end of the day, it's just a marketing ploy. And that's absolutely true. As I mentioned over and over again in this episode, it's definitely a, a, it's a good marketing move. No one can deny it. That's actually, it's, it's smart. It's a smart marketing move because more people have more eyes now on Gymshark. I mean, if you haven't heard of Gymshark, I already called this before this episode and you've heard of them now because of me talking about it then i guess they achieved it more people know about the brand more people will have the potential or there's more potential or a higher chance for people to buy their products then somebody else says is that uh responded saying that if she ain't obese or super thin and if she's active and she has no eating disorder to begin with or that has been forming then she's fine She's absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about. Again, if she's not in either extreme in health standards, mental standards, if she's within a healthy parameter or range, then that's perfectly fine. There's really nothing to worry about it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more women replied saying that they're a big fan of this. Um, and I guess to, to be honest, like none of these women... Uh, not to be mean with them but all of them are normal women none of them are bikini level women which is perfectly fine that's the perfectly fine they're normal average looking girls and they all actually like 10 sorry 10 women replied saying that they all are in favor of this and that's that's what i said a while ago these type of posts even though you know that it's hypocritical because you know they're doing this because it's a marketing ploy it's helping a lot of people in their mental problems. And I, for me, that's a big win. I mean, this company is going to earn a lot of money, sure. But at the same time, they're helping a lot of people feel better. And so I guess that's when you can say it's a win-win. I, of course, I'm not part of that win. But if some people are mentally healthier because of that, and of course, this company is more profitable, I guess there's no one that's necessarily in the negative. No one's losing in this conversation. Then... What do you call this? Somebody else mentioned that. Um, I guess that's about it. It's really less. That's really just the comments that I got, where a lot of women are in favor and a lot of guys apparently understand that it's definitely a big marketing ploy. But yeah, that's the episode, guys. I'm not sure <laughs> if there's any. I think there's value. There's. I think there's value that I presented in this uh, conversation. But yeah, if there's anything that I mentioned was definitely off. Do let me know because I'm, I'm, as I posted on Instagram, I know I'm not an expert in body positivity. I'm not sure if there's such a thing as an expert of body positivity, but I feel like this is something that really had to be talked about. Um, body dysmorphia and all those negative images that people have towards themselves. Um, it's something that I definitely hope that improves. And I know that not everyone will feel better right away just because they saw a post on Gymshark or they saw a podcast episode dissecting everything about it. But in time, I hope people are a bit more positive or like, in my, I guess, the right interpretation, quote unquote, right interpretation of a body positivity where you love yourself so much to the point that you are going to make the efforts to progress. Like if you understand that you know that you're not in a healthy spot, and if you love yourself, you're going to make the efforts to improve. Uh, again, if you want to aim, if you want to be a top bodybuilder, top bikini model, that's fine. Uh, but then I hope you don't have that mindset that if you, unless you're at that point that you can't be happy. You can be happy no matter where you are, no matter how lean you are, no matter how strong you are, no matter how much muscle you have, happiness can be found. And that's what I really hope uh, that people would understand as they uh listen to this episode so yeah um that's the episode that's episode 10 i'm super sorry i know that um how i am it's all over the place but i i'm not sure if that can be fixed i mean i'm only 10 episodes in into making these uh type of podcasts or making these podcasts so hopefully i progress and hopefully i get better uh in doing this so that my ideas my thoughts can be a bit more concise i'm pretty sure that my english teachers uh if they see me right now they're going to be 
cringing or like they, you're going to feel like a failure <laughs> that I am the product of their teaching. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you liked it, consider liking the video and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.